Hello and welcome to the continuing coverage of my exciting Python game engine development project. Uh, before we begin, uh, I was asked by a uh, fan of the series <laughs> uh, to explain the pronunciation of my username. Um, it's spelled M-I-Z-T-R-O-H, as you can see there on YouTube, uh, and it is pronounced Maestro. Um, it is my own unique spelling of Maestro, um, as in a person that conducts music. Um, it's what I've been using since early high school, and uh, it's quite awesome because um, you know whenever I sign up for a new account, no one has that username, so that's why I've continued to use it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, let's get on to the engine. Um, <clears throat> in the previous two videos, I covered the work I'd been doing with uh, the graphical user inter interface system for the engine, and I'm still working on that uh, as it is not yet complete. Um, I added two very important features today. Uh, they're both closely related, um, but they're extremely important to have implemented correctly in order to give uh, the user or game designer as many options as possible when constructing uh, their own uh, GUIs. Um, and that feature is uh, the ability to move a inner GUI control uh, to a position where it is outside of the bounds of its parent and to have it not display. Um, you know, say, um, say you put a GUI at position 00, zero so that would be at the top left of its parent and say you move it to negative 100, negative 100. So it would be outside of the bounds and you have to put a check in the engine to make sure um, that those parts of the GUIs don't get rendered when they're outside of their parent. Otherwise you'd have a child that sticks out you know, above its parent and you don't want that. Um, the second uh, feature that I added today is an option for every GUI control um, called constraint. And the constraint is a true-false option as to whether or not you can move or position uh, that GUI control outside of the bounds of the parent. And I'll, I've got two examples here that I've prepared uh, that show the, the difference between uh, you know, true and false and how they affect the rendering of uh, each GUI object, and I'll show those to you now. Uh, here on the left, uh, you see well, both of these examples look just like the examples uh, from episode two, um, except for now, uh, you can actually move them outside of the bounds of their parent, as you can see that I'm doing with this one. And you can do that with all of the inner controls um, when you specify, uh, you know, false to their constraint. So, as you can see, I can move that in and out freely and it works the same for all of the child objects as well. So you can see how all that works. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, OpenGL is quite an excellent uh, API, which is an application programming interface um, for rendering to the screen. And it was uh, actually pretty simple uh, for someone that knows what they're doing. Uh, to to get this end to where it's uh, not rendering the parts that shouldn't be shown. Uh, now in contrast, here on the right you have the uh, other example that I showed in video two, and I've done a, a little a little bit different uh, handling of each of the children inside this main window. Uh, the red here is still constrained to the boundaries of the parent. You cannot move it outside. Uh, the same thing with the blue. Still stuck inside but the uh, yellow and the green, I've made them uh, with constraint set to false so you can move them in and out freely. And you notice that I've also set uh, constraint to true on the main window of this as well. So, um, this is quite a cool feature to have going. Um, it's a huge leap forward uh, from where I was yesterday. Um, and I think I'm just about ready to get these GUIs looking like real GUIs. So uh, I'll start on that probably tomorrow and hopefully by the end of the weekend um, I can show you some 
uh, real usable examples of you know windows and buttons and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you guys next time. Bye.